is the things like where we start to get into arguments about, okay, could marijuana be more health, healthy than opiate research? Well, probably not. D could we have solved cancer? But, you know, does all the money that's in chemo stop if we do that, right? And so you. There's an argument to be made about the flywheel <clears throat> that is the system, right? And flywheel. I guess for the video's purposes is a self perpetuating system, right? It's a conceptual thing. And the, in this case, the flywheel would be companies generate attention to sell their products, which they know aren't good for people. This is where Khalil's conspiracy could be a valid one. I don't, I don't know if that's a conspiracy. Hold up. Just stick with me. Let me, <laughs> okay. let me describe like, the whole. I don't know if we want to call it a conspiracy. I think maybe we well, say it Khalil's opinion. Well, <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, it's, I don't think there was that much mischievousness that went into the creation. <laughs> mischievousness that went into the creation. <laughs> mischievousness that went into the creation of this. I think people are just benefiting from it. Meaning that, so the companies generate a bad product, right? Or a product that's unhealthy for their selfish gains. And the next person down the chain is the medical facilities that solve that problem, not by educating and removing the people from the cycle, but by saying, oh, we can medicate, right? To keep you from dying, whatever it might be, which the next person in the cycle, the drug companies are incentivized to keep the right type of medication funneling through, right? This is the things like where we start to get into arguments about, okay, could marijuana be more health healthy than opiate research? Well, probably not. D could we have solved cancer? But, you know, does all the money that's in chemo stop if we do that, right? And so you get these, these roundabout and you just go all the way back around to the food companies. Right. And you find that what's that circle look like? And that's what I mean by the, the flywheel is and the potential for a conspiracy. I don't think that anybody consciously created. It. I don't think that the food companies got together with the policymakers, got together with the doctors and the, uh, the chemists and said, all right, we got this plan. Let's go do it. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom, a meeting will come to order. The Legion of Doom is now in session. It is the purpose of the Legion to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us, the rulers of the world. To do this, we have gathered together the 13 most ruthless villains on Earth. I don't think they consciously made it, but I think this is what I look at. We talk about capitalism a lot on this show, right? And when it comes to capitalism, you think about the farmers. Eventually, when the, the demand goes up, they're going to have to supply more um, you know, vegetables or uh, meat, animals. So what are they going to do? They're going to find ways to supply more at a faster rate. So that results in you know, having to compete with other farms. So they're going to have to pump their um, chickens with steroids. They're going to have to push all this stuff. They're going to have to spray more stuff over their vegetables and fruits so that it survives so that they can make a living. And then all of that results in eventually those individuals getting sick. And I think those companies, I don't think they're naturally saying, hey, let's get these people sick. I think they're saying, oh, these people are getting sick. We know why they're getting sick. Let's put this in here because we can make money off these people getting sick versus actually teaching them. It's also, it's also the... the, the